What is going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. Now today I am going to go ahead and share with you all how I get candy machine locations or gumball machine locations because I've gotten a lot of comments about, you know, how I work it with the owner or manager or whatever with the shop. Do I pay him a commission? and all that kind of stuff and how that works. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and break that down for you because I actually have a very high success rate on getting locations. Maybe that's just lucky, but at the same time, I, for example, went out today and went to two different places. The second one said yes for finding a new candy machine. And the previous video, I found three in one day and I only went into three places. So. I've been having quite a lot of luck and quite a lot of success on getting the location. So I'm going to go ahead and basically show you the pitch I use and tell you basically how I do it so that I get this many yeses. But before I do let you know about all that, I'm going to need you all to hit that like button down below. Yep, just hit that like really, really quick and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and then leave a comment down below on how many candy machine locations you are currently up to. Currently, I'm up to nine after just placing this one today. I'll share a little bit of that footage with you as well. And I also wanna give out to a shout out to you, Azan Khan. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But uh, shout out to you. Uh, he's only a 13 year old. He has several honor boxes and a couple of gumball machines already. So he's starting that hustle real young. So getting right into the video, basically it's really not all that difficult to get locations. They're gumball machines, they're candy machines, they're small, they don't take up a lot of space and most people think of them as kind of a nice service to have. They don't think about it too much as a way to make a lot of money. So basically what I do is I just walk in and I say, Hi, I was hoping that I could just take a quick minute of who, whatever manager or owner is here, uh, just a quick minute of their time. And you know, once they come out and I'll say, hi, so nice to meet you. My name is Kyle and I actually have several candy machine and gumball machines around town. And I was wondering if I could put one in the lobby or over by the door or whatever works for that specific shop. I think it would be really great for your customers or employees. And then I see what they say. And usually I'll get a response like, well, does it cost me anything? And I say, nope, I just come by every so often. I'll be by, you know, I do my routes at the end of the month. So I'll tell them the next time I'll be by. And then after that point, I tell them, depending on how quickly it sells, I will be back after one to three months, just depending on how often the machine needs servicing. And if the machine does really well, I do upgrade some of them to put candy in it because I do always like to start off with just a single head gumball machine. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you some footage of me taking this machine and finding a location. I managed to find a location in just like 15 minutes today. So there you have it. There's a little bit of footage of me basically just carrying the machine down to my car. Uh, my fiance actually came with me to help me do a little bit of recording. And then basically me just driving down the road, taking the machine out of the car and uh, putting it on location. I didn't actually record the pitch live, obviously from what you can see, but uh, that's probably something I'll do in the future so that you guys can see firsthand how I 
actually sound. Um, honestly, it's almost the same as what I did uh, for you all. It does change up a little bit here and there uh, just because you're interacting with people and you know, if people don't, if people are hesitant at first, sometimes you can offer a commission or just find out some way to see if you can get in that machine if they're a little bit apprehensive, maybe say, hey, I can uh, uh, just put it here for one month to start off and then I'll come by. If you don't like it, I'll take it out. No questions asked, not a problem at all. Uh, or you know something like that. I feel like people will be a lot more perceptive to letting you put the machine there in a case like that. Now, a couple more tips for when you're trying to get locations is one of the number one things is really just going in there with a lot of confidence. You know, say I have several, make it seem like you will have a very successful vending business. Even if you have only a few machines, people respond much better to confidence than they will to if you say, hey, I'm just starting out. I was really hoping that maybe I could put a machine in here. People are not gonna respond to that very well and they're gonna be really apprehensive because then they're gonna feel like, oh, uh, you're just dealing with an amateur. He's gonna just leave the machine. He's, he's gonna neglect it. He's not gonna really take care of it. So make sure you go in there with a lot of confidence uh, body language is really important. Make sure you have good posture, stand up straight, you know, shoulders back, uh, shake the owner's hand if they're in a position to do so. Um, now, sometimes I'm able to, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I stand too far away behind the counter, so I can't really, you know, go out, go in for that handshake without being super awkward. But if they come around the counter to talk to you, definitely do a nice firm handshake, talk to them. And then also remember, you're just talking to people. So it's stop thinking of it as so much of a sales pitch and just start thinking of it more of you're talking to people and make it sound more like you're doing them a favor because even though you're making money from it, you're providing a very valuable service to them. You're giving their customers candy. Yeah, they have to pay for it, but you're giving them a service that the business does not have to pay for. Or in some cases, if you give them a commission, not only do you give them a service, but you also give them profit for doing absolutely nothing other than just giving a few feet of floor space. So just remember that, that, you know, a lot of people like having the machine there. Anyway, guys, that's going to be about the end of this video. Uh, like I said before, in the comment section down below, if you could all could just comment on how many machines you're currently up to, or if you don't have any, uh, maybe hopefully this will give you that kick to actually start doing it. But anyway, guys, I will catch you all in the next one.